Okay, ladies and gents, welcome to custom building your power con connectors or your speak on connectors for your speakers. Now, we've got one of each here. We've got the power con, which has three terminals in it. This is what it looks like. And we have the speak on terminal. The interior has four wire on an NL4, which is good for biamping speakers. Get your strain relief and then you have four terminals for highs and mids or double sub or something like that there is some that only have two connectors in it now i'm going to show you a little trick here either one we're going to do the power con also made this little doodad where you can solder your quarter inch you can solder with xlr's power con speak on all onto a piece of wood simplest thing ever build another one here Let's see how the camera view looks. Okay, so you can see what I've got there. Now, if you look closely on these, inside each connector, there is the numeric 2 plus, 2 minus, 1 plus, 1 minus on the power con. And that was the speed con. This is the power con. It shows you the neutrals on one side, the ground is in the middle, and the live is on the outside. Here is my secret I recommend doing to every cord you ever do. Since I've had so many issues with dum-dums pulling on the cords while they're plugged into lighting or the speaker wire plugged in and what they come with is these little screws to hold it in which is super terrible design I mean if you're careful the strain relief might hold it but what I recommend doing is take the screws out throw them away solder it in so I'm not going to do no idea why the video cut out at one minute Something's wrong with this thing. We'll have to add them together. So we're gonna take our power con here, and we've already put this taking the screws out of it. So there's no screws in it whatsoever. All those little pieces are laying all over the table here. As you can see here. There we go. Okay, so now we've got a back coupler on make sure you put the back coupler on you can put the strain relief on before or after it does have a break point in it where you can put it on after you got to make sure you get this on before soldering or you're gonna do this all over again okay I don't know if my phone's gonna stop at like a one minute mark again it must have some stupid setting on let's see what happens here 10 seconds let's see <laughs> six fucking hey welcome out to a tutorial on the greatest way i think to do power con and speak on connections here's my little doodad i made out of wood you can have quarter inch plugged into while you're soldering your labeled female and male xlr and your power con speak on with some labeling on it to help nothing on the other side got a couple over there as well to use so i've written on here you can see closely when you're doing power con that there's a live um written in the blue there ground on this one doesn't seem to show neutrals over there and your speak on has a one two three and four around hidden in the underneath all these things well, the biggest thing when i'm making these now to recommend they come with these screws each one of them come with a screw connection to hook them up which since i've had people working with me they seem to want to get out of there or have too many drinks at the end of the night and they rip out your lighting cable or your speaker cable and the strain relief that's coming with them doesn't seem to hold which is this guy is on here trying to hold the pressure of the wire still not strong enough and i don't like the screws after you're done so what i recommend is you take all the screws out see this one's already the one two and three screws are gone I'm not going to do the power con or the speed con right now. They're all there. I'm going to remove them. But we're going to make the power con right now. So when you buy it out of the store, it's all in fact manufactured together here. Maybe if I can put the phone. I don't know. I'm going to hold on to it. I don't know if I can hold it. No, nope. I'm going to put the phone down over here. Let's see if I don't want to spin it around too much. See if I can keep it on what we're watching here. Okay, good. So if you take your power con apart here. A little higher here I'm using my phone here i'm just gonna use the gopro but i think the phone has a better quality picture so you've got your back piece your strain relief and then you pull it apart and you've got your insert with the screws in it right and then your other 
piece which has your locking pin on it. So, if I start my cable right here, which I've already got together, make sure you have, I don't know if I even hold it sideways or hold it sideways trying to do this, your backing coupler on. Now you can put your strain relief on beforehand, but it does have a break in it like this. So you can put it on after, but you make sure you got this on or you feel dumb. You have to take it all apart again. So what I recommend is when you're building these, dump all the screws out of either the power con or speed con. Give them a little bit of soldering. Soldering tips ready to go. Let's see if I can do it without laying it down flat. Let's see on an angle here with the phone. Not the easiest thing to do. So what I'm going to do now is I've already got all these pre-tin soldered. I don't know if it's going to stay in focus. So I've already got it written on my piece of wood live. So I'm going to do live. If I hold it in there, it may tip over on me because I'm on an angle. I've got my solder and soldering iron. And all I do is don't melt the wire too, too quick. You can see it on the outside there. Just going to touch on the top and get some of this soaked right in there. It's hard to do on an angle here, just for phone purposes. So heat that puppy. Now, if you heat this up really long, you'll actually pull a pin right out of these things. And if they're a cheap brand, then they'll come apart. So there, I've done live already. The hot. You can take a look up there. Nicely soldered in. No screw anymore. Robust. It'll hold for many, many shows. Almost too good because if somebody drunken stupor guy gives her a yank, it's probably going to pull the whole thing right out of the wall. Who cares? It seems to withstand it pretty good. The middle plate one is a little harder to get because you're almost trying to melt the sides which is okay sometimes you tap the sides sometimes you don't and they just move the whole phone off tilt here i've actually got my phone held in like a some drum holster for ipads but apple sucks so that's that so see i've already drooping some out the side so i can clean that up after get some drooped in there Make sure it's touch. You don't have to fill it right full, but make sure it's connected well on the side. I've got a big droop in there. As you can see, going to focus. Well, I can take that out after just a little scoopy like this. And get the solder iron caught. Warm it up and just give it a little dump out. It's reasonable. That looks pretty good. And then our new neutral. See it? Which is the best way to see it like that? You can see it like that. So neutral, neutral, neutral. Do the similar thing here with your speak on two wire connection to your speaker or the four wire for biamping or double sub. We got someone coming here probably gonna interrupt me. It really came apart. Okay. She fell apart a bit. I'm probably just going to have to hold it. Try and heat up the outside layer. Get it plugged in. Warm up hot. Even some of the shielding around the wire can melt faster than you get it in there. I'm pushing pretty hard trying to get it in there. Because it is hard. To, you have to have a pretty hot solder to get these things warm enough. Sometimes even a little extra solder gets it started again. Plug her in. See, it's starting to fall apart on the weight here. <sighs> Let's take a peek here. Are we seeing it properly on the phone? It looks good. I'm pretty impressed with it. Take a look at it closely. Okay. I trust that one. All the way around. Good to go. Okay, so now I've got my strain relief already on there. So I'm always looking. No idea why my phone's giving me like five minutes of time. Or maybe it's probably it's in... 4k so always line up this fatty to the top fatty connection you'll see this other one will line up there's a different spot you can almost line up, but it's better to make sure that it lines up there with the two fatty line connections They're not quite lined up but you'll see these little teeth line up there now find that this fat tip seems to line up just on the right hand side of there's only one spot it can line up right about there. I'm just so well used to doing this. Used to doing it. There we go. Push it through. Now you know that that's all together. 
Oh, geez, it's really hard to stand. The camera view up close. Now, you want to crank this down? You're done. Power cons be kind of the same. Don't reef on these because there's no point. Now, you've got the solder for extra strength. And the strain relief is doing some as well. And there's your power con. You can do the same with the speed con. Goodbye.